15 weather forecast. For those of you with outdoor plans tomorrow, you'll want to do two things. First thing, have an umbrella on hand. Secondly, just watch radar because there are some uncertainties regarding tomorrow's forecast. Yes, we do have chances of showers throughout the day, but forecast models continue to struggle with when exactly those showers will arrive here in western Wisconsin. Right now, just looking at the most recent guidance, I'd favor the afternoon hours for those to show up. Don't take my word on that. That's just kind of what I'm seeing at the moment. I think our highest chances will be the afternoon hours, but there is that chance also that we start to see the showers as early as the mid morning hours and through the late morning as well. So just keep that in mind. We'll be under a mainly cloudy sky. Temperatures will be rising through the 60s and a lot of us should reach at least into the low 70s. I have a high of 75 here in Eau Claire. Meanwhile, tonight here in Eau Claire, I know this is showing a mostly cloudy sky, but the, there's just a few clouds around. Overall, it is mainly clear out there. Our current temperature at 69 right now. We have a dew point also into the low 60s and our pressure at 29.90 inches. Statewide, we're mostly hanging out from the 60s into the low 70s. Now at 71 in Oshkosh, 70 in Wausau, 65 in Wisconsin Rapids, 72 the current temperature in La Crosse, 68 in Prairie du Chien, and a cool 59 right now up in Rhinelander. As for those dew points statewide, those are anywhere from the upper 50s and into the low 60s. But as we head into tomorrow with more of that moisture increasing, these dew points will start to climb with all of us basically seeing those into the low and mid 60s. And that's when that humidity does start to become a little bit more noticeable. Checking out satellite radar, we continue to track this very weak cold front. It is going to wash out as it pushes further to the south. So that's not going to be very impactful to our weather. But what our eyes are on right now is across the Great Plains. You can see all the showers, a couple of storms that are starting to develop. And this is all out ahead of our storm system that right now is starting to come together out west. Through the day tomorrow, that's going to take a very slow track through the central plains and that's when we're going to start to get into our shower chances as well. Through the overnight hours, do expect a mostly clear to partly cloudy sky. Waking up tomorrow morning, clouds will continue to increase and thicken up and like I said, there's still some uncertainty. Right now, Skycast is in agreement with my current thinking that our highest chances for showers will be towards the afternoon hours and then what looks to happen tomorrow night is we're going to get into some widespread beneficial rainfall across really much of the area where you have these yellows, oranges, and even red showing up on Skycast. That's indicative of some very heavy rainfall, and that is certainly possible through the overnight hours and into the daybreak hours of Monday as well. And then as we start to get behind this weather system on Monday, we'll have some wraparound showers on the backside that are going to be persistent. So right now I do have a likely chance of showers to start out the new work week, and then those clouds will start to clear out by Monday evening. As far as rainfall totals through Monday evening, I think a lot of areas likely to pick up at least up to an inch of rain. There will be locally higher amounts up to two inches, if not more than that will just depend on where the heaviest rainfall does occur and it will certainly be much needed considering how dry it is. So for tomorrow, our high temperature at 75. Meanwhile, on Monday, a lot of areas are going to struggle to even get out of the 60s. But by Tuesday, we're looking at plenty of sunshine and temperatures back near average at 79. Hard to complain when you have a forecast like that, especially when you see the rain. Yes, and we could use it right now. Things look to be good to go for that heavy rainfall tomorrow night. So we'll hope it holds. Perfect. Thanks so much, yep. Derek.